Hey everyone, this is Brian Mulligan, and today I'm working on Autodesk Smoke 2012. Now, there was a couple of questions on the area form for uh, Smoke on a Mac. Uh, the people were having some issues with uh, some of their gestural copying, and uh, I thought I'd uh, you know address some of that. Um, I think what the issue is is that people who don't have Wacom tablets attached to their Smokes, and working the way you know the Smoke system was actually kind of designed with a tablet in mind is that some of the documentation may not be completely clear as to what constitutes a click um, when, you, when it says F click uh, to copy a clip. So let's check this out. Um, here I've got a timeline and you can see that there is a uh, soft effect, color correct soft effect on top. You can see where it's very desaturated and then it'll pop into its full color, uh, natural color there. So people wanted to basically copy this uh, a smoke uh, on the Mac will basically say hit the F copy key. Co the will hit the F copy key, uh, hot key. People will tell you to hit the F hot key for copy. Um, so you would basically click on the clip and you would hit the F key and then you would move it. But apparently, you know, on a smoke on Mac, when I installed it on the trial, nothing actually happens. Well, apparently. It works the same way for copying a, a normal clip, so I'm not quite sure. You actually have to hit the mouse button and hit the left mouse button uh, when you hit F. So basically select the copy, select the clip, hit the F hotkey, and uh, click the left mouse button, then lift up, and then you can plop this down anywhere you want. It works just like that. The, the same thing would go for the clip uh, to where you would click on the clip, hit the F cop hotkey, click the left mouse button, and copy the, the clip around. Uh, that way. All right. So if I wanted to do that, there. So the, the trick is, I think, on something that doesn't have a Wacom tablet, is to actually have to click the left mouse button in order for this to work. Uh, the same, you know, if I just wanted to to lift the thing up, you just sort of click it, hit the F, uh, hit the key, or hit the left mouse button, and click on the clip and lift it up as well. When you have a Wacom tablet, you don't have to actually do that that click. Uh, pressing down on the Wacom tablet actually sort of is the same as the left click on a mouse uh, from what I can gather between the two systems and the, and the differences. So maybe that's uh, where some of the hangups are. So once again, you can just take your clip, you can select it, you can hit the F hotkey, left click on your mouse button, lift up, and then you can drag this anywhere you go. And sometimes the trick is, you know, actually lifting up on a clip. Uh, that's kind of how a lot of the smoke extraction uh, works for copying, is that you want to click on the clip and lift straight up, and then you can move it around wherever you want. So you wouldn't want to necessarily, you know, do it side to side. You can't do that. If I just, you know, click on it, it won't copy. You, you do have to do that physical lift up. Okay, I've got it now, and then I can drop it down. So that's where that is. So one other little tip on gesturing that I thought I'd share is let me pull this clip a little bigger. All right. If I've got a clip and I'm searching through it on my source area, where right now there are no in and out marks on this clip. You can see that there are no in and out markers. But I just sort of have the position marker. If I look at the uh, time bar for the source clip, you can see I have the, the position marker. So if I put the position here and I want to not use anything on this side, if you go up to the clip and hit the F hotkey and hold it down, the center of it is, once again, lift up and copy. All right. If you hover over to the right side or the left side, you'll see you get two other little icons. Uh, those basically will reference uh, how much of the clip to copy based on where the positioner is. All right. So it's a little backwards, I think, from intuitive, but the icons actually make sense. So if I'm on the left side, you can see where it's basically going to say, I'm going to use everything from the marker to the right of the clip. And you can see where on the left of the clip, it actually is dotted out on the icon. And that means it won't grab that. So this clip uh, will be very long on one end and short on another. So if I just grab it from here and drop it down, you can see now that I have an 11 second clip from that point. So it cut off the beginning parts that I didn't want the extra, the extra slop here. Uh, if I go to the other side of the clip, hold down the F hotkey and the left mouse button, in this case, uh, if you're on a Mac and not using a tablet, uh, it will grab everything from the marker to uh, the beginning of the clip. So it'll grab the little short section here if I grab it this way. So this will be like probably what, a two second clip? Three, three and a half seconds. So it'll do, it'll do that. 
So that's a little bit more of gesture copying. Uh, if you once again hold it from the F, F hotkey here, uh, it'll just duplicate the entire clip. And now I've got two clips that are 15 frames long. So that may help uh, with people um, in, in your, some of your gestural copying. It depends on whether or not you're on the left side, the right side, or in the center uh, when you have a clip that's positioned in different places. All right. So hopefully that helps everybody. If there are any other questions in the forum, you know, just let me know. I'm always happy to help. All right. See you.